Hello my friends and welcome to the Pathway channel. Today we will present the oesophageal candidiasis and just a few points about oesophageal candidiasis. The most common organism is Candida albicans and it can present with difficult swallowing or dysphagia and on the micro macroscopic or the endoscopic finding they will just find like white, white patches on the esophagus. On the microscopic picture from this view, we are at the 5X and it looks like we don't have, except for some, like we have the squamous epithelium of the esophagus, but we don't have anything characteristic from this power, except from the busy uh, mucosa, which we will go at a higher power and discover what's going on. So let's go at a higher power. So now we are at the 10x, and from this power, we may appreciate some inflammatory infiltrates uh, into the mucosa. And this is one of the microscopic uh, findings uh, that we can, uh, can lead us or can guide us whether we have uh, to look for uh, candida or not. So with candidal esophagitis, usually you will find some uh, neutrophilic infiltrates of the mucosa. And you will then search for any pseudo hyphae or any yeast. But from this power, maybe we cannot appreciate them. So let's go at a higher power. This is the 20X. And from this power, maybe we can see here that we have some I'm trying to adjust the focus. So from this power, yeah, let's go around. Maybe you can appreciate, appreciate some yeast in this power. And maybe here you can see some pseudo hyphae, but let's wait till we find a clear one. So this busy area here, you will find these, which we will suspect to be a pseudo hyphae. This one, a pseudo hyphae, this may be a yeast. And this one also is a bit different. Let's go around trying to find more clear ones. But with this busy mucosa, yeah, here also, you, I hope you can appreciate this elongated thing here, which is a pseudo hyphae, and this one also, it's a pseudo hyphae, this one. So it's a busy mucosa. And this will guide us to do more or further studies on this esophagus to see whether it's infected with candida or not. So we will order on this slide uh, the GMS stain, and we will order PASD. So this area. I think it's more clear here that it's busy and we have these elongated structures here and there, and it's busier than other areas. Here again, this one elongated and this one. So let's try going at a higher power. Yes, I think it's almost the same, but here we can appreciate having one neutrophil. So we have neutrophils, we have these pseudo hyphae, and we have this kind of uh, rounded structure, which is mostly yeast. So let's see the special stain on this one. So this is the PASD stain. And I think it's more appreciated here, these yeast-like structures here and the more the hyphae or the pseudo hyphae that are present in the mucosa. Also here they are more evident, these kind of structures, the elongated structures, and they are usually perpendicular to the uh, axis of the squamous cells. Let's see the other stain. This is the low power, like the 5x. I will go directly to the high power on this one. And this we can see much, but here we can see for sure these two yeast 
Budding. I hope you can appreciate them. So this is the candidal esophagitis. This is the GMS stain. So we do the PASD and the GMS. Sometimes it's evident on one and not the other. And you can see in this the busy area, which is the yeast cell and these two cells also yeast cells, which are evident here. So this is how we diagnose the oesophageal candidiasis. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.